caters to the black woman. And the reason the black church caters to the black woman is because the black woman is the provider. She has more income and education than the man. So they're looking at this financially. They also have a vested interest in her never getting married. Whoa. The pastor is the metaphorical husband of all the single women in the community. Damn. I'm not saying he's <laughs> sleeping with them. I'm saying he's keeping them so distracted with Jesus that they never find a husband. And that's the way he wants it to stay. Because if she finds a husband, she won't have as much time to be donating to the church all the time. Wow. So the black church benefits from single motherhood. They don't want our sisters married because they're pot. And this guy That's crazy. and Dr. Umar is a polygamist. <laughs> <laughs> he believe in multiple women. Well, he, he takes one to know one, right? He, he's like, I know that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, so what do you think about what Umar said? Goodness. Um, is it true? <laughs> it's There's no, an inch of truth to that? No, 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 no. But I think you do have... I think that the church system has probably realized that the um, the loyalists that serve in the church are probably mostly single women. Yes, Be, you know, and I think that they, <laughs> yes. I don't think that they encourage it, and I don't think that they. Um, just, they're just the most dedicated. Yeah, and it just yeah. happens to be um, mm. the statistics, right? Like <laughs> when I was in college, it was twenty five to one. You know, the church is the same way, so you can't get them all married off. You know, might as well have them. Right? <laughs> I'm saying you might as well have them start serving you know in different places. You gonna get when you get home. <laughs> you can't marry all of them. All of them. What's, some yeah. of them want to be married. Right? I got three daughters. God. I don't plan on marrying all of them. All. <laughs> Dang, which daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So no, that would have to pay for them all. That is, I'm just kidding. But no, um, <laughs> you got a big backyard, brother. You yeah. like, go back there. Nice little water. <laughs> water. Yeah. Um, I got one kid that says they never. I got one kid that says they're never leaving home. So I just gotta deal with that. I guess. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I do think that that I don't think the church is a system set up to to encourage that though. But I think it just happens to be that way. I think what he's noticing is, like you said, a lot of churches, the women are the ones that are most dedicated. Yeah. And unfortunately, that pastor does serve as an example of what a husband should be to yeah. them. Yeah. And so a lot of them are dedicated to that pastor as yeah. well, whether he takes advantage of that or not. I don't know, but I've never known a pastor to want the women in this church to stay sing yeah, single. I've yeah. never, yeah, yeah, I've never, never got that. a sense of that. So mm -hmm. I think he's wrong about that. But I think that the dynamic he's witnessing is true. Yeah, that there are a lot of single women in church. There's a problem with you know. There, here's the real problem. We did, we got in trouble for this a long time ago. Yeah. If you know what I'm talking, if you've been around for a while, you know what topic I'm talking about. But the gist of that conversation, just in case you don't know, was that there aren't enough solid, solid quality men available for all those women. Yeah. yeah. So who are they supposed to go for? When you look at, when you walk into most church doors, you see men that are serving, about 90% of them are married. Yeah. yeah. And then you see like a bunch of single women. So what are they supposed to do? Yeah. There's not enough. And the guys that should be there are out in the street. Yeah. So there's, there's the ratio is off. So then you get a bunch of women serving. They look up to their pastor because yeah. they believe he's a good man. Yeah. That's that, I think he's witnessing a truth, but he's yeah. just getting the wrong conclusion. Yeah, I think yeah. two women are, tend to be more trusting <laughs> than men, especially in a church environment. Like the average man thinking, oh, he up there running game. He up there trying to get money. I ain't finna listen to this guy. So they're more skeptical of a pastor or yeah. the church institution, I guess, they're more skeptical. Well, a woman is like, okay, I'm going to go in, I'm going to serve the Lord. They're not really even thinking like that. Not all women, anyway. Um, so I think that's why you're going to see more women. Men, they'll tell you, like, man, I'm not going to go down there and let this dude get my money and hustle me. I heard plenty of men say it, you know. Um, so if you got a church that's kind of like not really solid for real and they can't really see how it makes sense, men not going to show up. <laughs> but how, 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 do you, how do you attract guys to the church? I mean, for one, you got to talk to people. I think like we were talking about last week, what Todd Tripper was trying to do at the church would be relatable. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a way to be relate on um, the show. I mean, to be relate. I think it's a way to be relatable without going too far, without crossing the lines or the boundaries that you should cross as a believer. Mm -hmm. If I talk to a guy, I tell him like, "Look, man, come to church." I said, "We're not gonna try to force you. We're not after your money or nothing. We're just trying to build a relationship with you. We're gonna dive into the word. We're all growing. We all learning. 
Ain't no big eyes and little U's. We in this together. We'd love to have you come fellowship. Any questions you have, we're more than welcome to answer. Well, happy to answer your questions. Um, let's just lock in. Wow. Just be normal. We're going to clip that up and make that a commercial. Yeah. Don't be, be normal. Don't be like, oh, man, you're going to come in. You're going to see a great change in your life. And I tell them, like, You ain't one of them preachers like, yo, man. I remember back in the day, I remember somebody like, yo, man. I go to this church. We got a bunch of women in here. You single. Uh, they yeah. actually got to- me with that. They, yeah, when we were teenagers, yeah, they were like, pimp. hey, guys, yeah. there's a lot of single women in here. You, you may want to come. That's what? ministry pimping. That's what they mean. <laughs> what, what's unfortunate, again, it still comes back to the fact there aren't enough solid black men who are single, yeah. serving, faithful, dedicated in the church. So it's like, what are you supposed to do? There's there's too many people who sound like Dr. Umar in the church. Yeah. Because yeah. so a lot of the guys, even the ones that are single, act like him. Yeah. Mm. So what you, what are, yeah. There's not options available to these men. Man, man I'm just tired of people just growing their hair out all nappy and growing a beard and start talking all <laughs> eloquent. They, they just so wise. <laughs> See, the problem is with the black church. There's man. a lot of people that follow him, though. Oh, yeah, he got <laughs> a, a lot big of people. Because they don't it's read. Of, it's because of Charlemagne. Problem. Charlemagne been pushing the mess out of him. I, yeah. But you know what the funny part is? People make fun of him to the point where people are intrigued by him. He's so funny. He, so, so, like, when, when somebody go... And like some like somebody post something of a white woman, and then a black person say, "Yo, Dr. Umar got to understand." Yeah, or, he's, you know he's I mean? a punchline. So he's a punchline, yeah. but it's also when it's almost like when people talk about Trump, like <laughs> like you you you're so funny, or you yeah. you see him, or yeah. he's so big. It's like yeah, that's there, there's a personality type that's winning right now. Yeah. It's the so silly, so ridiculous. That I just need to I need to watch you. I need yeah. to follow you. I need yeah. to I, I you're saying things that other people are afraid to say. So I, I like that about yeah. you. And that, that's winning right now. Yeah. Man, yeah, that dude, bro, he got a fake doctorate he had. <laughs> <laughs> Where that school that he probably built? He raised he, the money. He, for he him. showed a video one time about something with somebody <laughs> like somebody posted like, yeah, I told y'all he got the school and he was like walking around some school. I, I Man, saw that. Video. I can go down here to Tri City and walk around. And be like, yeah, I got a trap theology school right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but what, where are sad. the godly single men? Where are they? Somebody, do you know any? Mm, I, we got a guy here, but what, yeah. do you know any? We had this conversation. It's far and few between. That's true. It's not a lot. Ain't a lot. It's not a lot. It, I'm the only it, single man in my friend group. And I, and I, <laughs> and I was going to say this too, and I, I hate to say it like this, but the single men I do know have are, are, are divorced now. Yeah. Mm. And, yeah. you know, that's not, that doesn't equate the same. Well, yeah. I, I think also too, um, um, we, we probably got to, one, as men of God, we, we have to go in the community and start yeah. pouring into men. Mm-hmm. That's, like, that's really, what I'm trying and, to get. And out. really, yeah, and really like, mm. like, and just talk to people, man. And hear it. Like, and you may not be, and I think that sometimes for us as men, we want to answer the questions. And you may not have the answer to the questions, but you may be able to just build with somebody and say, hey, man, I don't know the answer to that question you're asking, but let's just talk. Let's yeah, just, I, I, can give you, I can bring it back to you next week or next time I see you. Because there's I mean? definitely a problem because I feel the frustration of our young sisters in the church that are being faithful, love God, have the yeah. right mindset about. God, and they're just like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, and when a single man come in, they pounce, but like, <laughs> hey, but man. I will say this: sometimes you may have that overlooking each other. You know yeah. what I mean? Where yeah. it's yeah. like the guys are looking for the save city girl, and the, yeah. and the women looking for the save Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Versus yeah. like, yeah. turn around, look at each other. Maybe. That's who y'all supposed to be. Some of that, but there's yeah. still ratio is still off. Yeah, the ratio is still yeah. still off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Um, let's get into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash track stars universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.